Hey, fellow Schneider drivers, friendly Bill coming at you. Uh, I am parked for the day. Um, I didn't. I like to drive as close to 11 hours as I can, but it, during the winter, I'm in Wyoming. The roads are icy. Um, I was looking on truckers trucker path, and a lot of the parking was filled up. So I pulled in with about an hour left uh, to a rest stop. So playing it safe, you know. Uh, sometimes you got to do that, play it safe um, with parking. Uh, it is uh, almost nine o'clock in the p.m. So uh, basically, um, I've been pretty lucky so far this winter with driving on snow and ice. Um, this is my fourth winter as an OTR driver, uh, two years in the Northeast and now two years in the West. Um, so um, I do have some winter experience, but you know, can you ever have enough winter experience as a truck driver? I don't know. Um, you know, so I've been really lucky so far. I haven't really hit anything bad, but uh, today the roads were icy um, up and down hills. Um, I did, uh, the, uh, the drives did, um, break loose one time. Um, and the only, I'm not an expert, you know, I'm just a driver, you know, and I'm learning stuff all the time. Um, but, uh, one thing I do know is that you do not want to have cruise control on, on ice or even slippery wet um, I did not have the cruise control on. I was, uh, had my foot on the fuel and I'm glad I did because, uh, as soon as I felt the drives break loose, all I did was let off, let off the fuel and just held the, held the wheel and it straightened out. So if I had been in, um, if I had been on cruise control, the wheels would have broke off, broke loose. They would have continued, uh, continued to uh spin and it, it could have um it could have been worse it could have um yeah it could have been bad um but you know when it comes to winter i'm like a grandma driving i drive slow i drive deliberate you know i'm not a super trucker that can drive 80 miles an hour down a mountain i can't do it and i know that so i drive slow but I am parked for the day. The only thing that kind of bummed me out was uh, I didn't have a good signal. Um, there was no, uh, when it came to my time to talk to my kids on the phone, um, I pulled off and uh, I didn't have a great signal at uh, the stop I was at. And uh, that can be kind of frustrating when I'm trying to talk to my kids and I don't have a good phone signal. Uh, so I didn't get to talk to him very much tonight, and uh, that's kind of a bummer, because that's really all that, that's like, talking to my kids that, that time I talk to them, I talk to them every day for like an hour, sometimes a half hour, hour, that's basically the highlight of my day, and if I don't get to do that, then I really kind of feel bummed out, um, but, you know, looking on the bright side, uh, another winter day in the bank. Um... Yeah, so, you know, uh, oh, for you new drivers, uh, your veteran drivers, you know, you, I'm sure you've heard all this before and you know all this stuff. You know everything. If you, you know, you, if you've been driving a long time, you know a lot of this stuff. Um, but uh, for new drivers, I really suggest you look at the winter survival guide that Schneider provides. It has a bunch of really good winter tips and, um, you know, it's called Winter Survival Guide. It's not Winter Prosper Guide, not Winter Make a Bunch of Money Guide. It's not, you know, any of those things. It's survival. And I think that's a really good uh, term to put because as a truck driver in certain situations, uh, it is a survival, um, you know, uh, because it can get, I mean, it can be, it can be deadly out here um, in the winter. It can really be deadly. And, you know, like I said, I drive like a grandma out here in the winter. Um, but the four wheelers don't, 
oftentimes and other truck drivers don't oftentimes so you know all you can do is do your part and be safe that's all you can do but you know we're not the only ones out here so um you know it's it can be really dangerous and um I just wish the best and I wish the best for everybody. I hope I hope you make it through this winter. I hope I make it through this winter. Um, yeah. So, hey, uh, if you got any ideas for videos, uh, any topics, any anything like that, uh, even if you already know the answers to these uh, questions and if you already know the answers to the topic, uh, maybe somebody doesn't. Um, you know... Um, if you got any ideas about uh, videos, that would be cool to share. Um, but I also just like if you, even if you just have random thoughts, put it in the comments because uh, maybe a Schneider driver is looking at the video and maybe they like it, maybe they don't. But then there's a comment that one of y'all left that helps them, helps somebody or you know, um, you know, make fun of my beard. I mean, it's hilarious. Look at this thing. It's hilarious. I look silly. Silly! If you have a flavor of favorite, favorite flavor of vape, let me know. Right now I got Magic Mint. I like Magic Mint. Um, I also have... Um, I got this one. This one is... Orange cream. I haven't tasted this one yet, but I do like orange flavors. Um, I hope I like this. I haven't tried this one yet. I got this one, and I do not like this at all. Um, coffee and cream. Okay, I love coffee. I drink coffee like it was going out of style. I drink it like a... Oh, I love coffee. But I do not like this coffee and cream. So um, I will give this to anybody who wants it if they see me. I will, I'm just going to start offering this to anybody that I see. Hey, do you, you like coffee and cream vape? Hey, do you want this? Do you want this? I I tried it, and I do not like it. I uh, got a lot of good food in here to eat. Um, the only bad thing about shutting down before you're ready is I, I still have energy to drive. I feel like I could drive another five or six hours, uh, but I now I have to shut down. Um, so that kind of stinks. Um, I hate having energy and having to shut down. And then, of course, I hate not having energy and having to drive. So it's kind of a... Where's the where's the median there, you know? All right. Uh, yeah, shut down. Have a good night, y'all.